Open Cabin Show is going on this weekend, and one of the special presentations will be all about bats. And we're so fortunate to have bat expert Rob Myers with us. Good morning, Rob. Yeah, good morning. Thanks for having me. Well, it's our pleasure. I've already learned so much about bats, and now I get to hold one. You do. Tell me about this one. Okay, this is a very common, uh, what's called big brown bat, mm -hmm. believe it or not. Our bats here in Wisconsin only eat insects. One bat by itself eats up to 5,000 insects a night. So this is why you want them at your cabin. Yeah, they eat moths and beetles, which destroy our crops, our sure. gardens, and our forest. But they also eat mosquitoes, gnats, flies. You know, you're sitting out by the lake, you're sitting around your cabin. Oh, and it can be really bad. And is this a baby or this is full grown? This is a full grown bat. Wow. And the bat here lives about 20 years old. Um, it has tiny little eyes and huge ears, mm -hmm. and they actually use this high-pitched ultrasonic sound to fly around at night. So bats aren't blind. They use echolocation to fly around at night. Now, he's kind of sleepy a little bit. Yeah, he's uh, he's this, quivering. This is an injured bat, so I oh, work for okay. the Organization for Bat Conservation, and we have a campaign that we're um, reaching out to people to learn more mm -hmm. and do more for bats. You know, the bats in Wisconsin are actually all protected, and some of them are endangered because there's an invasive fungus that got here from Europe about 10 years ago. In Wisconsin, it's been here for two years, and the bats here are unfortunately dying during hibernation. Wow. One of the things that people can do is to put up a bat house. Outside. Yes. <laughs> and if you put a bat house up uh, near your cabin, near your house, you know, on the peak of the garage, the, the side of a chimney on a pole, uh, the bats, and you can see how small it is. Look at how tiny that space is right yeah, there. Yeah, to crawl through there. How many bats do you think could fit in this? I'm going to guess 10. A okay. hundred. A hundred? A hundred bats could fit inside Boy, here. they like to be close together, they that's do. for sure. A mom bat has one baby once a year. Wow. Moms live together in groups. They know each other. They live together in generations. And they help take care of each other as well. Oh, that's nice. They'll even take care of each other's babies. Okay, now we're going to move on to a, f a fruit bat. All right, so there's three things that bats are so good for mm -hmm. humans. One is that they're the primary predators of nighttime insects. Mm -hmm. The other thing is they pollinate plants. Oh, I didn't realize that. And I bet you there's some there's some plants that you might not even know too that they pollinate. Ooh. And one of the one of the things that they pollinate is bananas. Uh huh. They also pollinate. Let's see, let's turn them up this way. They also pollinate avocados. They pollinate agave that we make tequila from as well. And this is one of the little bats that pollinates and it eats fruit. And it's got this weird looking nose. Uh, let's see, so that's, maybe I can get them. There oh, we go. There he goes. Look at that little nose right there. It's called a leaf nose bat. Oh, there. And he's actually oh, echolocating out of his nose. And in the rainforest, they grab pieces of fruit and then they fly around to go eat it somewhere else so that predators don't eat them. And this is a little bat that somebody had illegally as a pet. Uh-oh. So it is, it, we're not allowed to have bats as pets. Right. And also we have the, is it the world's largest bat? It is. This I'm kind of anxious to see with a six foot wingspan. That's but right. Rob assures me that this bat no longer flies. And also while Rob is getting ready here, the show is going on Saturday and Sunday and Rob will be there both days, all day, special presentations every couple of hours. And okay, Rob, you hold that one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this, wow. is, this is the biggest bat in the entire world. Uh, her name is Camilla, by the way. Oh. And Camilla is 22 years old. Wow. She was born at a zoo in Florida, and she does have permanent wing injuries. And so at our wildlife sanctuary where she lives, she lives with other fruit bats. And uh, look so at So she these. doesn't fly anymore. She doesn't. Look at these huge thumbs. Wow. So the bat's wing is a lot like our hand. There are four fingers... One, two, three, four. Thin skin that goes between each one of the fingers. And then the bat, hanging upside down, really is a lot like humans. They have a hand, but it's turned into uh, the wing. Their body, internal organs, are set up just like ours. But they don't have a head, pro you know, head rush mm -hmm. when they hang upside down because they just don't weigh enough for gravity to have that negative effect on them. Oh, it's just incredible. And I've learned so many things from Rob just standing here. You have to go learn more about bats. And yes, they can be your friends. No, they won't get stuck in your hair. <laughs> and learn all the things that are actually true about bats, not what you see in movies. So, uh, Rob, we thank you so much for coming in today. And once again, the Lake Home and Cabin Show going on all weekend.